Hey there, Codexal. Just found your channel. I'm new to live game streaming, and I spent like eight hours total on Streamlabs software. I want to see a video on how to add the donation source, social media channels on the stream, and have and how to set up the Streamlabs OBS live stream within in game from like the Xbox with two monitors, and to add a countdown for the live stream start scene. Big thanks. Great video. Keep it up. Subbed and like. Well, I appreciate the sub and like. So we're going to be showing you how to add the donation source and do social media. Um, I, I hope we're, we're going to get to that in a second. Um, one thing that left me stumped that this right here, how to set up the Streamlabs OBS live stream with in game from like the Xbox with two monitors. You're going to have to specify a little bit more. So I'm going to move that towards another video. So, and as well for the countdown for another video as well. And I'll just work on for a scenes video. So let's, um, Let's talk about how to add like the donation and social media channels. So if you mean by social media channels to add it on your bio, then by all means, that's that's just common sense. I that's this has already been covered. <laughs> but if you want something more like a pop up on your screen, such as let me go ahead and move this towards here. Um, social media. Let me open this up real quick. Normally it would pop up with something, so we're gonna we're gonna customize that. We're we're gonna we're gonna customize that. So before we begin, if you guys can do me one big happy favor is to hit the red button that says subscribe, hit the post notifications every time that I upload a video, you'll be notified. Or even if I live stream, you'll be notified. And come through, ask questions. I'll help you the best of my capability. Um if that's what I'm here for. So basically, yeah. Like, share, and blah 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 blah. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the video. So what you want to do is go to streamlabs.com, sign in, and if you can't find your URL for to trigger that alert donation, basically right here, this is what will pop up. Um, you're just going to type in the HTTPS colon slash slash streamlabs.com slash then your username. Usually it's the username that you signed up with. So... Uh, then you know the username right here the donation the message then you know you hit donate then that message will pop up Well, how do we trigger that? So if we go down to back towards the stream labs and go to the alert boxes and Right here. It'll give you the URL now. This is one URL for all for the um, follow sub donations host bits raids pledges and merch so all I gotta do is add this URL and let's uh, bring this up here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that and add it back in. Yep. So you're gonna hit the plus button. You're gonna go to browser source, add source. You wanna organize it, so give it a name. I'm gonna call it alert box. And add the um, URL or link in there. Now, just customize it. It's all about your creativity. So put your mind to use and if we hit the, the test donation, this will pop up. So basically, thank you, John, for the uh, some diabetes of $79. I know it says diabetes, it's an inside joke. I'm basically really fat, so it's something with my community. Please don't judge me for that. Well, I mean, you can judge, but uh, it, it's more of an inside joke with me and my community because I'm I'm a fat streamer. Anyways, to customize your um, your donations or even your follows and all this whatnot stuff, go to each tab or each section, and this is where you're gonna create. Um, this is where you're gonna customize things for yourself. So, what do you want the message to say? So, the name now has donated some money. Um, what you want a animated picture? Go on Google Images or create your own GIF and create your own sound and whatnot. So, this is all about um, customization. So, this is where you're gonna have to use your mind and what you want. And all of this is essentially the same for each different categories. So. Alrighty, so now that's covered. Now, as for the social media um, aspect, there, there's a couple of ways that we can go about this. If you want something like an animated thing, um, what you could do is let's let's go back here. Actually, let's go here. Let's go to YouTube. YouTube is a great source. You can just type in free template template uh, social media. 
and it'll give you like they they will give you links inside something. Usually it's like a green screen. Then you know you can just add the chroma key effect and um, just put that towards your animation. But if you want something down on the bottom left where that pops up through, that is called uh, Social Media Pop-Up version 2 by uh, Nerd or Die. Basically, once you visit this page, I mean, I'll put the links in the description. So this will pop up to the uh, left or right of the screen, either or. You can see that where it says Kodak on the bottom left of the screen. It's really hard to miss. So once you go here, I'll just put in zero dollars. They're asking for a donation. Just put in zero bucks, add to cart, sign up. It's completely free. Um, if you don't trust it, you know, just give it, make up, a, make up a username, make up an email, make up a password. That's it. So it's all about security. If, if you don't want to give out certain information, then lie. Then simply just lie. There, there's nothing wrong with lying about putting your information down. Unless if it's like with the IRS and the government, then yeah, that's a little bit of a different story. Anyways, so once you get that and download it, um, I have mine right here and it'll give you like a readme. So let's go towards the readme. And we might have to use this on with like Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge. I remember a while back I had a problem with uh, Google Chrome plus I have Adblock on. But it comes with pre-filled um, or pre-images for you. So I have a Twitch, I have a Twitter, um, I have a Facebook. And I have all of this stuff. You can add that. So down below, it'll ask to enter in the text. What is your username? So we're just going to do this for all of that crap. Uh, Pre-fill that in. Now it's to down. You must both download the buttons and the files. So let's go ahead and download the buttons and download the file. Yes, I want to keep it. Um, it's downloading a JavaScript. It thinks it's harmful, but it's not. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it. Now we're gonna open our folder where it's um, where it's at. So it's gonna be in the downloads. Um, let me get that. So it's gonna be right here. I'm just dragging it towards the desktop. There's some, I like, I just don't like um, my downloads to be shown uh, just in case of something inappropriate showing up. Okay, so we got the two files that we need. So we want to open up our social media folder back up and we want to drag these two files in towards, okay, so the, I believe it's the image and settings and what's the asset? Okay, the asset's fine. So you're gonna put it in the image and settings. And now this is your choice between, do you want this to pop up on the right side of the screen? Or do you want this to pop up on the left side of the screen? Basically, you wanna go back towards the plus button, go to browser source, and um, social media pop-up. Add, and this is where you're gonna browse for a local file. So click on local and you're going to browse for that desktop. It will be okay. So you want it to pop up on the left or on the right? So it will be these two files, either or just choose one. So we want it to pop up on the left. We're going to hit done. I want to hit properties and I want to refresh it. Maybe I didn't do it correctly. Oh, there's one more step to it, that's why. So um, we're not quite done yet. So after we do that, uh, we need to make it appearance and timing. So we go to number nine, and what we wanna do is the pause time in between each thing. So basically, until it moves, so it was from Twitch, Facebook, then Twitter. So six is fine. Then the pause time in between is 100. So you can leave that at that. Do you want to customize the box color? Basically, it gives you a little preview of what you want it to look like. So I'm satisfied with what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and just download that. I'm going to keep it and drag that over towards the this folder here, put it in towards the settings. And what we're going to do is refresh it. And voila. So if you want something like that, um, the pop-up, there you go. Um, as for something that's more animated, just use YouTube, because they'll give you a lot of free templates for your social media and whatnot. So I hope that video will 
do for you guys i hope that this will give you guys a good start and whatnot if not um then let me know what i can improve on so i hope to see you guys in the next video don't forget to share subscribe like all that fun stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video peace Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.